2020 has been a difficult year to say the least. Far-reaching implications of the virus outbreak. We have seen how life on Earth has been altered so drastically in multiple ways. But it was also a year when three separate Mars missions began their journeys. Let's rewind and revisit this year from the prism of space exploration. 2020 was the year of substantial discoveries and significant strides in space exploration. It was also the year of ending some of the aging missions. Let's start with the Spitzer Space Telescope. After 16 years of scanning the universe with infrared technology, NASA decided to pull the plug on January 30th. Ground controllers put Spitzer into permanent hibernation. Not a very smooth start to the year, but there is a lot more to come. Bepi Colombo was a joint mission between the European Space Agency and Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency. And on the other hand, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope celebrated its 30th birthday on the 24th of April. This recap would of course be incomplete without the mention of the coronavirus pandemic. With much of Europe under lockdown, the European Space Agency continued to operate its spacecraft. The bulk of the agency's workforce started working from home since March. But of course, it didn't come without its challenges. In a rather unprecedented turn of events, the Space Agency's integral mission suddenly reset on 30th April. An emergency procedure developed almost 20 years ago came to the rescue. A European and NASA spacecraft snapped the closest pictures ever taken of the Sun. And in July, the scientists released the first images taken by a solar orbiter. July was also the month of the three separate Mars missions of the year. It was the UAE that first launched its mission from a Japanese launch center, followed by China and the US. Cut to August, the month when NASA said it had discovered salty water beneath the surface of a dwarf planet. Astronomers found a potential sign of life high in the atmosphere of Venus in September. And in October, for the very first time, the presence of water on the Moon's sunlit surface was confirmed by scientists. In November, China even went ahead with one of its boldest lunar missions yet, Chang'e 5, to bring back rocks and debris from the Moon's surface for the first time in more than 40 years. The Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa 2 released the small capsule with samples and sent it back towards Earth, completing a mission to provide clues to the origin of the solar system and life on Earth. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.